Good evening, Edita. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi. That's awesome. Great to hear. So you were sick, right? No, no. You were working. What happened to you? In my case, good teacher. And yesterday, I not, I not know. Um. Um. Begin the class. You were having rest. Yes. Okay. But you were not sick? No. Oh, okay. Okay. It's good to have you back. Thank you, teacher. Do you have a fan turned on? Do you have a fan turned on? It sounds like. Yeah, there's a fan. A fan. Un ventilador, a fan. Yes, no? yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. It's good. Okay, let's just wait for the others. Did you work today? Yes, teacher. Mm. What, what, what's your schedule? Um, is it that in, in the morning um, I'm home, home work. Mm -hmm. uh, no. You work from home? For home, yes. Mm -hmm. um, I begin at 8, 8 a.m. 8 a.m.? And the finally is um six p.m. And I and I finish at six p.m. Do you have lunch? Yes, um, my lunch is the the twelve. Is at at twelve? At twelve and the one p.m. That's good. Okay, okay. Where are the others? Sorry, I'm just waiting for the others. Let's see how many are we? Okay. So we are seven now. Welcome, guys. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Fine, and you, teacher? I'm doing great. I'm going to give you five minutes so you can have a conversation of any kind of conversation. OK? Use the icebreakers. Remember, try to have a conversation with your classmates. OK? Not me. I'm not here. Okay, guys, what kind of topic do you want to talk? What do you think about the, oh my God, how can I say golden balloon? <laughs> Karim Benzema with the... It, it was great because the last um the last of oh, the lady the last, the last the last season yes, i think that is okay season. i yes. think that is okay because the last season he does yes. everything for the team yeah i i oh. guess that i i know real madrid and i <laughs> yeah i know Barca, but <laughs> lately he played very nice very nice. He is a, yes. he's a killer. If yes. he if he has a, um, a milder feel. Yes. That exactly. give him give him give him so balls. It's going to be a, <laughs> a, a killer in the in the little area. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, I'm so excited because uh, in, oh my God, how can I say dentro de un mes? <laughs> oh my God. Den, dentro de? I don't know, but <laughs> yeah, dentro de un mes. Oh my God. Oh. Um, we are going to uh, celebrating or watching the, the World Cup. World Cup, oh, ah, yes. Way. Yes. yes, it is. It is near the. Yes. The, the, the it's big... coming. It's coming near. It's coming yes. near. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but my, yeah, I like. My, I like football. I like. My, football. my children told me yesterday that this this World Cup is going to be different, but it's going to be nice because they are going to be in vacation. Oh, okay. for the for them, but for us, imagine we are at work. Yes. <laughs> they start to to make a, a plan what what they are going to do during oh, the yes. matches. Yes, we have, to, kind of... we have to make an schedule. Okay, this <laughs> yes. time is the play. Okay. <laughs> yes, and, and thinking about what kind of um tutoring, boquitas. <laughs> <laughs> snacks. snacks. <laughs> they are going to cook because they they like to cook. <laughs> but always when they are watching some match, always are eating something. <laughs> this is great. Okay. Walter, what about you? Uh -huh, Walter is so quiet. You are so he quiet. He doesn't. He doesn't uh, speak about his Real Madrid team. Fito Celaya, ¿qué dice? Este Walter le pone la camisa de la Alianza. Sí, vamos, es el clon completo. Oh my God. Oh, is the Real Madrid? Is the kid man the best in the world? Come on. Do you, do, you think that, do you think that Real Madrid is, is the going king to, the... is going Walter, Walter, do you think that Real Madrid is going to going to win the the next uh, champion? champion? Yeah? The, the, yeah. The king? <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, very positive. They have some opportunity to to, <laughs> to win again. Because they they they, uh, they they have a great team. Um, I'm so sorry, yeah. but I I I Barça, pero, pero <laughs> and, you, are, and mal. you are disappointed about Barcelona. <laughs> and I'm mal, you are and I'm mal, pero. At the you moment, very... uh, we had the match. Uh, at the best, at the best, the. The world for me is Madrid. It's a good stop. Uh, a good equipment. It is a good team. Yes. Okay. We talk much about football. What about the girls? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Do, do you <laughs> okay. do, do you remember some many years ago I remember a man is going to be a father, but when they they when he and his wife um, they 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 were waiting for a baby, and then when they cuando iban a pagar en la caja me recuerdo que I'm going to say in Spanish, but él, él, él estaba pensando en, en, se le venía la imagen del niño jugando fútbol y lo agarra la esposa de la camisa y le dice, y si es niña, y, dice, ah, y empieza a imaginarse también sale la niña jugando fútbol. <laughs> yeah, why not, why not. <laughs> my, okay. da my daughter likes fútbol, she plays okay. fútbol, yeah, she plays fútbol, she loves she plays she's a she's a oh she's she's going yeah she's going to oh my god how can i say that the next year she's going to the university 
and she thinking that uh, she is going to participate in the university team. Hey. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> it is great. <laughs> great, great. The soccer is, is so beautiful. I have some friends in, in Santa Ana, yeah, over there. When I go another place to another place to play soccer, always many people are, hey, what's up? And my wife always told me, hey, where where de dónde lo conoces? Where do you know? Where do you yes. know him? <laughs> where do you know him from? Ah, where do you, know you him from? where do you know him from? Ah, okay. Thank you, teacher. Yep. Um, I played with him uh, when I was uh, so young. Uh, I think that. <laughs> okay. okay, let me interrupt you. I'm sorry. So, welcome. Great job. Thank you, uh, Rosalena, Wilfredo. What about the others? <laughs> Okay, remember you can have a conversation among you before we start the class, especially if we're waiting, we're waiting for the rest of your classmates. And uh, just making a little um, correction here, let's see, it's coming near uh, the entre de un mes. You are thinking in Spanish, so let's stop thinking in Spanish. Just remember what you have learned. It's coming near, it's near. Can I, can I say it's coming soon? No. It's coming soon, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Coming soon. It's coming soon. It's near. Okay. We are close to the next World Cup. We're close to the next World Cup. Okay. And through the UMS in a month. <laughs> in a month. In about a month. In about a month or so. Can I say we are next around? No. Ooh. No. 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 Ne next around is for a place. Uh, the World Cup is at the turn of the corner. Uh -huh. The turn World the Cup is at the turn of the corner. Yeah, that's a saying. Yes, turn of the corner. Turn of the corner? Yeah. yeah. That's right. That's so on. Okay, so let's go. We are 12 now, and tonight you have to talk a lot, so let's start. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Here, teacher. Thank you. Please turn on your cameras, everybody. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ana Selmi Chévez. Oh, your microphone, maybe it's not working. Oh, yeah, the headset, okay. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Here tonight, Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez Flores. Present. Thank you, Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Thank you. Carla Veronica Vasquez de Rivas. Not here tonight. Kenia Michelle Lara Sayas. Present. Thank you. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. All right. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Here tonight. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Okay, so tonight's topic. What's tonight's topic? I want you to know it for sure. Describe the benefits cultural diversity brings to companies. As I mentioned yesterday, we're going to see that in a minute. First, we need to remember what we learned yesterday. Okay, so what was yesterday's topic? Okay, what was yesterday's topic? Review about the birth to be. Hmm. Well, yeah, we checked some grammar, right? Some very basic grammar. What else?
What else did we do? We make sentence with the gerund, gerund, gerund of the With verb. gerunds, okay. Yeah, we gerunds. made sentences with gerunds. Gerunds, yes. That's right. What else? That's it? We learned to use can't help and using, I, I remember the last, when, when I when I started, when I joined to, to the classes, yeah, you were talking about uh, ing, using another verb. Excellent, yeah, to have a base verb and then the ing form. Yes. That's right. Yeah, that, that's what we uh, started yesterday mainly. Grammarly talking is, is some verbs where you must use ing, which is the list we worked on. Um, and I send you an additional list on your WhatsApp as well. I send it to you yesterday. Tonight, we're going to start with some something like that. Let's try to. And we're going to start just by practicing really quick what we understood yesterday regarding some little exercises. Now, this is a very simple exercise, okay? Let me, how do we do this? Let me try to project it here. It's not working like that, so I'm just gonna have to send it to you. Okay, so here. Let's see if you remember this. These are simple topics. Go to your WhatsApp, you have five exercises there. Try to resolve them. Okay, so if you notice, we're using one of the two connectors, right? So, for example, the first one, Nelson, Kyoto is very nice. Everyone is extremely friendly. What connector will you use? By the way, guys, Kyoto, is it a city, a country? What is it? Exactly, it's a city. It's actually a... I, 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 I think it is a name. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's an island. It's an island actually in Japan. Okay, and it was previously the, the capital, the capital of Japan. Okay, so it was, it was, not anymore. So what's the answer? Kyoto is very nice. What's the best um, connector you can use? N. N, every, teacher. Or N. But. N? N. N. Because you're adding positive information, right? So 
Kyoto is very nice and everyone is extremely friendly. Okay, what about number two, everybody? I think it's toe. Okay. No. I think it's toe. No. It's a soft, no. it's a soft V, V. So you say the, 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 the. Mm -hmm. the. Mm -hmm. So the streets, no. the streets are crowded during the day, though they're very quiet at night. Though they're very quiet at night. Okay. That's right, because it's something opposite, right? Okay, what about number three? The weather is nice, summers get pretty hot. However. <laughs> Good, Susanna. Good. So the weather is nice, however, summers get pretty hot. The weather is nice, however, summers get pretty hot. Number four, Gloria, let's see, Gloria. You can rent a bicycle, it's expensive. And, but, which one? And, but, 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 totally, yes, because you're, you're contrasting, right? Contrasting two ideas. You can rent a bicycle, but it's expensive. Excellent. What about number five? Nelson, again. I want to hear you, Nelson. Come on. Number five. It's, a, it's an amazing city. I love to go there. And, however... I miss it. And I love to go, however. The... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, just one, just one. So, end. End. That's okay. right. It's an, it's an amazing city. And I love to go to there. I love to go there. I love to go there. Better. That's right. It's an amazing city, and I love to go there. Why aren't we studying about cities? Well, because this topic has to do with it, you know, uh, cultural diversity is not just about different nationalities. Can you have cultural differences with other Salvadorians? Hmm? Can you have cultural differences with other Salvadorians? Yes. Why? For example, I listen, I listen, listen. I heard. I heard it, heard it, that in San Miguel they eat pupusas with <laughs> salsa negra, I don't know. I know, I know. Yeah. Who, does, who does that, right? Like, no. I don't know, but I heard it. Kenya, are you from San Miguel? Okay, because I, I saw you doing this. <laughs> with ketchup. With ketchup. Oh, yes. Also, oh yeah. also, also, the people in Santa Ana, they call topoillo to charamuscas. How dare you? <laughs> it's yes, true. Teacher. Yes, it is yes. true. Yes. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? How, um, <laughs> how do you, how do you, by the way, how do you call el rayador? Rayador. Rayador. Rayador? <laughs> and you? Yeah. Really? Mm. And you, teacher? No, no, no. no. <laughs> what is the name in Santa Ana, teacher? Is no, it's not in Santa Ana. It's just my grandma used to call it pichancha. Just like la pichancha. Just like what? Right? I just came to San Salvador saying pichancha. And <laughs> he used to correct me. No, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah, eating pupusas with fork, right? and knife what? that's crazy so yeah you can have different cultural uh, differences the, the, the different cultural um encounters i don't know how to call this um for even, example the chips the tortillas the uh -huh. chips in san miguel usulutan uh -huh. the the kind of tortilla, not the, the style of tortilla, is 
very thin. 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 And just like it's tacos. It's not taco. No, it's, it's no, it's not, it's different. Mm. It's not a similar taco. But still made of corn. Right. Made of corn, not but not, it's big and bread. And thin. 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 Yeah. Big, big and thin. Okay. Didn't know that. Maybe because they're close to Honduras. No? Wait, no, they're not close. Yeah, are they? Yeah, they're kind of close to Honduras. Okay. That could be it, right? In Honduras, the baleadas. The baleadas are like pupusas. No. no, it's not the same teacher. It's not the same? Mm, I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, let's talk about the different options that you have when you, um, well, because it's normal when you talk about um, describing, describing a city, describing some places. You usually use um, connectors, you use adjectives, right? And that's what we're gonna study a little bit right now. Just remember a little bit of that. Wait me just a minute because I have to share this with you. Okay. Uh, it's just a little chart. So we have some work to do with this to build some vocabulary. Like on your WhatsApp again. I'm going to try to do something here to be able to share the screen with you for a minute. Let me get my classroom screen and get the text. And then now let me share the screen and ta -da -da. Ta -da -da. okay. So what's that by the way? Do you see the screen? Yes. Where, where is it? It's Machu Picchu in Peru. Machu Picchu. Yeah, Machu Picchu. He says it's beautiful. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so oh my god, this is too small. It's gonna it's not gonna work, maybe. Yes, it's too small. Well, you got it on your WhatsApp. Try to maybe if I just save it and okay. So if you notice, do you have on your WhatsApp? Two activities. The first one says match each word in column A with its opposite in column B. So what is the opposite? And you need to add more, two more pairs, two more pairs of adjectives to the list. So what is the opposite of beautiful? Ugly teacher. As simple as that. Okay. Now, this is a simple exercise. The second one says, choose two places, you know, let me stop sharing. Choose two places, you know, describe them to your partner using the words, the adjectives you just saw above. Um, for example, let me tell you about Santa Ana. Santa Ana is a beautiful place, at least, where I used to live, which is called Colonial Palmar. There, there was a park, even though in my childhood, it wasn't very clean all the time, uh, but, it, but it wasn't boring. It was beautiful. Um, it was always crowded. It was crowded all the time. Many, uh, much people, I'm sorry, much people playing basketball, soccer games, you know, it, it, soccer matches, I'm sorry. And it was so, so amazing to be there, um, to release stress. It was very noisy, the park. But in general, Santa Ana nowadays is a very quiet place. It's 
too calm. Well, now for me, it is too calm. It's like nothing happens. There's not much to do. I don't know. When I go there, it's like uh, a little bit boring sometimes. Sure. Yep. Um, I, I One year ago, I, I remember. I a, year ago, repeat, uh, a year ago. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. I start again, but I I could see many children. I remember I I I I, I go to the church from to the Redondel, San Jose. Uh, San Jose Obrero, huh? Yes, but I could see many many matches, but about children playing basketball. They are tournament. And I, I guess that they are start to to play a game, and it is so so crowded. Uh, uh, se puede decir lleno, crowded. 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 Right. Crowded. Yeah, yes. it's always crowded, and it's true. Yeah, I, I was there a few weeks ago, and there there's always a tournament at the park. It's true. Yes. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to split you just for a few minutes so you can find the opposites from A to B and then choose two places, you know, just have a conversation with your classmates and then be careful. You may come to the front, especially if your camera is off. I may call you so you can come to the front and tell the class about your special place. So let's go. Okay, we have to match each word. Uh, the first, beautiful. Ugly. Ugly, okay. Cheap. Expensive. Expensive. Clean. Dirty. Oh, twist dirty. Mm, dirty sucio, right? Yeah, but here is okay. clean. Ah, oh, here is polluted. Poly Polluted. It is not. It's not dirty. Interesting. Boring. Boring. Uh huh. Quiet. Quiet. Noisy. Noisy. Relaxing. Relaxing. Stressful. Yes. Safe. Safe. Dangerous. Uh, dangerous. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, uh, uh, and tomorrow, my friends and me, uh, they gain soccer in at noon. They are, are you going to play with, with him? Yes. Uh, okay. 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 And number one is beautiful. And the opposite is a? Uh, ugly. Excuse me? Ugly. Yes. And number two? Cheap. Expensive. Cheap. Yes. Yes, expensive. And number three? Number three? Dirty, dirty. Sucio, dirty. Dirty. And number three, it's clean. Dirty, dirty, pero dirty. no está, pero no está en, en, mm. ahí en la, 
en, 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 el, en el, la palabra B tendría que ser eh, yes F, is a, F, a con it. yes pull it. Mm -hmm. pull it. Uh, number interesting interesting yes. boring and you say polluted polluted Polluted. Ah, oh, okay. Thank you, teacher. Polluted. Yep. Polluted. Polluted. Okay. Boring. Number four. Boring. Ah, oh, yes. Mm -hmm. no, number five. Five. Quiet. Quit. 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 Is a positive. Or quiet. Hablando en mío. Noisy. I guess it is quiet. Quit. Ah, uh, see, quiet. <laughs> yes, uh, quit. yes. Noise. Yes, the teacher told us quit. I, I don't remember what I mean. Quiet. No, quiet. Quit. Quiet. Yeah, quit. quiet. Quiet. Yeah, it's quiet. Yeah, quiet. Silencioso. Right. Yes. yes. Uh, but so yes, the positive yes. is noisy. Noisy. Not just yesterday, teacher. I remember you, you told us another. Uh, it is parecido. It's just that there is a confusion between the three words. You have quit, quit, yes, quit, quiet, quiet, and and quiet, 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 quiet. Yeah. Uh, oh, I, I think I wrote. Oh, I'm sorry. I wrote. I wrote. The, wrote the hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quiet. There you go. Quiet. It's very easy to get confused with these three words. So I quit. I quit my job. Uh, be quiet. Be quiet, which is the last one. The last one. Be quiet. And the middle one, it's quite expensive. That's quite expensive. Quite expensive. Yep. Okay. Hey. It's quite think expensive. Did. Yep. Next. Nice. And Number six, relaxing. relaxing, relaxing, stressful, stressful, yes, 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 and safe, safe. Hey. dangerous, <laughs> dangerous, yes. I think and that there is a danger. Spacious. A lot of uh, uh, a lot of people they walk. Uh, they walk. Um, I do say. Um, uh, guess a lot of people walk. In, in in the street uh, in the day in, at the night is and the the clothes is a uh, sweet uh, and the ladies wear a boot boat but is right the pronunciation Mm -hmm. I'm not Botas. pretty sure. Botas, Botas. teacher. Boots. 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 <laughs> but but, 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 okay. but the, the suit, the, the, the formal suit, formal suit, but, yeah, but. but, but it was very common in the, in the city. And the, the weather very cold. Was. The food, uh, the food is, it was delicious. I like it, Bogota. I like Bogota. Yes, I like, I like Bogota. Yes, Excellent. I in, like Bogota. And in past, it will be, I liked Bogota. I like. I like. I like. No, because like in this it. moment, like I like it too. I like. <laughs> For now, I also I like, like it. it. Okay, <laughs> right now. Excellent. Okay, let's go back. Thank you, Kenya.
Okay, so where are the others? Okay. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Edwin, Walter, and Wilfredo came at last. So, someday over the rainbow. Okay, let's see, uh, Walter. Hello, what, teacher. Okay, what's the opposite of beautiful? It's beautiful. What is the opposite of beautiful? Excuse me. You said it before. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ugly. Yeah, I said it before the class. Let's see. Cheap. Walter, what's the opposite of cheap? Cheap is uh, expensive. Expensive. Very good. Now, Walter, repeat. Cheap. 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 Mm, cheap. Cheap. There you go. Cheap. Thank you. Okay, Wilfredo, what's the opposite of clean? What is the opposite of clean? I, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't activate my microphone. Uh, polluter. Polluted. Polluted. Po polluter. Polluted. Polluted. Yeah, polluted. Okay. okay. Very, very dirty. I mean, filth, filthy. Hold on. And the other teacher, it is, it is. Dirty. Diddy, 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 diddy. It's not an easy word. Diddy. It's not dirty. It's not dirty dance. It's diddy dance. Diddy dance. Okay. Diddy dance. It's filthy. Okay. Filthy is another synonym. Okay. Interesting. Adriana. Where was Adriana? Yeah, there she is. What is the opposite of interesting? Boring. Boring. That is correct. Boring is the opposite of interesting. What about quiet? Quiet. Ada? What is the opposite of quiet? Excuse me, teacher. Quiet, noisy. Noise. Perfect. Noisy. What about relaxing, Gloria? Relaxing, number relaxing. six. Is um, stressful. Very good. Stressful. 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 Okay. Safe. Sandra, are you there? Safe. Okay. No. Sandra, Susana, what's the opposite of safe? It's dangerous, teacher. Dangerous. Dangerous. It's dangerous, okay. And the last one, spacious. Hey, spacious, spacious. Can you? Uh, that it's crowded. Perfect, crowded. Kenya, would you please set the pace? Please set the pace. Um, can you talk to us? Um, about a place, you know, using the previous adjectives. Yes, for sure. <laughs> I was talking with Anna before that I went to 
to El Cerro, El Cerro Verde when I was in high school. Um, so it was a kind of beautiful place as I remember the last time um, that I was there. And well, I would say, I do not remember how much um, did I pay for that for the entrance, right? La entrada, mm -hmm. okay. Um, but I think it should be a little bit expensive. I don't really, I'm not sure about it. Um, so I would say that it's a really clean place. Um, anything will be, you know, in the, in the environment, anything it's polluted. Uh, so you can feel the air, um, you can feel the, the air like cooler. Like if you even can see the, um, como se dice nubes, I'm sorry. The clouds? The clouds, yeah. So it's really interesting and you can go to your family. I think it should be, um, you know, a good experience there. And it's Excellent. crowded sometimes. Mm -hmm. Awesome, you can go with your family. You can go with your family. Excellent, Kenya, thank you. Okay, what's your favorite color, Kenya? Mm, I think it should be, <laughs> no, uh, it's green. Sometimes <laughs> I like violet. Okay, sometimes you like violet because, yeah, because green already talked. So let's see, violet, beautiful leaves at a selmi. Is that violet? It looks like violet, I don't know. Anyways, I'm daltonic, so it's okay. Okay. And tell me, talk to us about a place that you know. During the conversation with Kenya, I share with her uh, about my experience. I know in um, Bogota, Colombia. Mm. Uh, is a beautiful city and the weather is cold and I like the the food mm -hmm. and in the general the environment is peaceful is right teacher I'm sorry peaceful peaceful is peaceful. right peaceful yes the yes, environment peaceful. the environment it was yes, my perception <laughs> my perception <laughs> in compared with the <laughs> the uh, in compared with my country <laughs> but mm -hmm. uh, yeah i like excellent okay let's correct that in the general no in general in general in general, in general. yeah in general teacher in compare with my country in, to my country compare Compare to my country. To my country. Mm -hmm. well, compare, compare, compare to, to my, my country. country. Compare to my country. Okay, just one more. Thank you, Anita. Uh, and somebody else who wants to participate, a place that you know. Don't be shy, guys. Come on. I would like to participate. Please. Um, I remember 15 years ago, uh, Parque Saburirao, it was a, a very beautiful place in a beautiful park. I remember it was, uh, the entr entrance was very cheap. It cost like 25 colon, 25 cents was, was Col the dollar. Colones? The no. Uh, 25 Dollar. cents. Mm, no, colones. Colones. Mm, really? Wow. To, no, 25 cents, but in Colón. Right, right. That's my point. It's, it's less than, it's like it three, really three cents, like three, do, three cents of dollar. Mm -hmm. Wow. What I remember is uh, it was a very clean park and everything there. It was very spacious. Uh, it was a lot, uh, there were a lot of um, noisy because there was a lot of kids playing around. And sometimes it, it, for little kids, it was very dangerous because there is, uh, how do you say uh, that slide? When you go up, you- A slide, yeah. Would yeah. you slide, yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So for uh, little kids, it was very dangerous because uh, I remember that, that a kid fall down and 
and he broke her hand and something like that. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> But nowadays, I went uh, this last week with my little daughter because we went to his. Uh, she sure. goes to a, she goes to a daycare, so mm -hmm. we went there. And it was very safe. Now, like back in days, that there used to be gay members and everything it was a dangerous place because wait, around gang, this area, wait, 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 gang gay members. Me Guy, gang members. Yes, be careful, not gay members. Gang uh, members. Gang <laughs> members. <laughs> so around the area from, from over there, there is there is a lot of neighbors, very dangerous neighbors. Neighborhoods. So, mm -hmm. Neighborhoods. And so now it's a very safe place. And awesome. The, 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 the entrance today is $1.50. For uh, adult and a kid, just the entrance for free. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I'm thinking about going on Sunday now. Thank you, mm -hmm. Edwin. That was interesting. That was interesting. Parque Saburo Irao, right? Yes, Parque yeah. Saburo Irao. I will recommend you to because your your children's will have a lot of fun. I went with my daughters and trust me, she she has a, a really good time over there playing with the other kids. And okay, are, are dogs allowed? Uh, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. And you can use the slide too. <laughs> yeah. Not me, not anymore. Mm, I, you know, I like it. when I mm. lived in Santa Ana, mm -hmm. and now that you mentioned this, Mm -hmm. I used to go with my friends to um, to the stadium, Oscar Quiteño, mm -hmm. and there are some huge slides. There's like three or four lines, I can remember, and mm -hmm. those are concrete, concrete slides. But the thing is that you remember, I don't know if you remember, but back mm -hmm. in the days, back in the days at the stadium, they used to sell some pillows paper pillows made of grass they used to put grass inside some mm -hmm. manila envelopes okay and that was a pillow for you to sit to watch mm -hmm. the game to watch the football match so it was funny because we used to find these pillows let's say outside mm -hmm. and we used to use we used to wear those pillows to to go on the slides Man, that you, was you get, crazy. You get more faster, right? Yeah, and you used to get yeah. burned too on the on your elbows if you were not <laughs> careful. You know, it's like, Shh. yeah, whoa, that was crazy. Oh my god, that was crazy. But that was fun. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was mm -hmm. a lot of fun. The more blood, the more the, the more fun you had. <laughs> <laughs> Better the memory. Okay, right. so what have we talked about? First, we saw conjunctions and but, so, however. So you have a little chart on your WhatsApp. If you see chart number one, it says Los Angeles City is a big city. Los Angeles is a big city. Los Angeles is a big city, comma. And the weather is nice. Okay. So you're adding more information. Los Angeles is a big city and the weather is nice. Los Angeles is a big city and the air is fresh and it has beautiful views and there's amazing people. Okay. Boston is a big city, but it's not too big. Boston is a big city, but it's not too big. Boston is a big city, but it's it's um, windy. It's windy. Okay. Teacher, in, in always case when we in use all cases, in, in all cases? cases, in all cases, when we use the conjunction. Conjunction. Previous, uh -huh. previous is a comma. Is comma. A comma. Uh, no, no, not all the time. Not all the time. Um, I usually put the comma after the connector, after the conjunction. Okay. I make the before teacher. No, 
after. I, I would have said Los Angeles is a big city and the weather is nice. It's up to you. I mean, if you make the pause, just think how you speak. Los Angeles is a big city and the weather is nice. Boston is a big city, but it's not too big. Difference, Boston is a big city, but I did it again, I'm sorry. Boston is a big city, but it's not too big. Okay, Boston is a big city, but it's not too big. So it all depends on the pause, where you want to make the pause. And the next one, it's a big city. Now there's a period. It's a big city. It is not too big though. It is not too big though. Now in this case, you're given a second thought, a second thought. Mm -hmm. If you notice on the punctuation, good job. You're, you're making a pause, you're giving a second thought. It's a big city. It's not too big though. Okay, it's a big city. It's not too big. However, mm. now these two conjunctions, these two connectors, most part of the time goes at the end. If you notice, they go at the end of mm -hmm. the sentence. Okay, now the second chart, you, you're welcome. The second chart I sent you is about adverbs before adjectives. Okay. What kind of adverbs? I usually call them quantifiers. Okay, some adverbs are quantifiers. For example, Punta Cana is really noisy, is really nice. Okay. The food in Punta Cana is fairly expensive. It's fairly expensive. Fair enough. Fair enough. Do you understand fairly? Early. So it's like pupusas everywhere. They are they are fairly fairly expensive, you know. 60 cents if they are good. Good pupusas, 60 cents. Right? The standard is 50, right? And so on. So it's not very big. It's not very big. Pupusas are not very big nowadays, right? Not very big, not very small, not very sweet. Mm -mm. Okay. New York is too noisy and it's too crowded for me. Be careful with this um, adverb, okay? Two, it most likely it goes at the end, but in this context, as a quantifier, before an adjective, right? It goes before an adjective. You are too beautiful. You are too ugly. You are, it's too expensive. It's too hot. It's too hot, right? It's too cold before an adjective. And lastly, it's a really nice place. Look at that. Can I say it's really nice? Yes. The subject of the conversation is in the context. It's really nice. But if I want to say the noun at the end, I need an article. It's a really nice place. It's a beautiful woman, right? It's a handsome man. Okay, it's a fairly expensive destination. Question, can I say it's a fairly expensive? Just say it's a fairly expensive. Your microphone. Yes, I read your lips. Yes, uh, no, it's a, fair, a fairly expensive. Right? Doesn't make sense. You have to say the noun. It's a fairly expensive destination. Destination. Okay. It's not a big is it's not a big city. I'm sorry, it's not a big what what it's not a very big city. It's not a very big city. It's not a very big city. Can I say it's not a very big? Right? Doesn't make what? sense. What? Right. <laughs> 
it doesn't make sense. And then you have on the right hand some adverbs, which I, we mentioned two, extremely, very, really, pretty, fair, somewhat. Man, these pupusas are somewhat expensive, you know. Man, these shoes are somewhat expensive. So again, adverbs before adjectives, okay? We're about to practice a conversation to close these topics, talking about cities. Why are we talking about cities, countries, adjectives? Because that's part of what you will do. You will create a conversation about cultural diversity, which is the main topic tonight. But before we move on, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. <laughs> Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Excellent. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Thank you. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Carla Verónica Lara Sayas. Kenya. Okay, uh, present. Yeah, who's Carla, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's just that she was next. I'm sorry, Carla Veronica Vasquez de Rivas. This lecture, she's not here. Okay. Kenya Michelle Larasayas, Nelson Edgardo Sanchez Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Not today. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Mendez Ramirez. Present teacher. Uh -huh. Susana Carolina Hernandez Iraeta. Present. Thank you. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wendy Patricia, not, I, I saw her. She got disconnected again. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. It. Okay, let's finish this topic by practicing a small conversation, shall we? Hmm. Let me see if I can share this with you and you can see it better. Okay, tell me if you can read that. It's just a conversation between two people, Ron and Camila. <clears throat> now, I will read it for you really quick so you can practice later, okay? And it says, that photo is really cool. Where is that? That's a beach near my house in Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. It's, it looks so relaxing. I've heard the area is really beautiful. Yeah, it is. The weather is great. And there are some fantastic beaches. The weather is really clear too. I'm sorry, the water is really clear too. Is it expensive there? Again, is it expensive? Is it, is it expensive there? Well, it's not cheap, but prices for tourists, but prices for tourists can be pretty reasonable. Reasonable, reasonable. Hmm. And how far is it from Santo Domingo? It's not too far from the capital, about 200 kilometers, kilometers, a little over 120 miles. It sounds very interesting. I shall plan a trip there sometime. Kenya, Rosel Roselina, please. Hello. Okay. Hello. <laughs> so Kenya, you are Ron. Rosalina, you are Camila. One, two, three, action. That photo is really cool. What is it? Where is that? 
that's a beach near my house in Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. Oh, it looks so relaxing. I've heard the area, it's really beautiful. We lost her. And there's, there are some fantastic, yeah, no? Yeah, can okay. you repeat? Yeah. Okay, yeah, it is. The weather is great and there are some fantastic beaches. The water is really clear too. Is it expensive there? Well, it's not cheap, but prices for tourists can be pretty reasonable. Hmm. And how far it is? Uh, it is, for instance, Santo Domingo. Santo Domingo, sorry. <laughs> it's not too far from the capital, about 200 kilometers. A little over one, oh my, oh my God. 120? A little over 120 miles. <laughs> it sounds very interesting. I should plan a trip there sometime. Perfect, thank you. Just one thing uh, when you're reading, and how far is it? How far is it from Santo Domingo? <laughs> how far is it? How far is it? Is it, how far is it? usualmente cometemos el error de poner el verbo to be después del sujeto o sea, ajá, so that's normal, it's okay okay, so let's practice really quick change roles, remember change roles, okay this time you're going to be in trios so please accept the invitation that's very important okay let's go Hello. Hello, Gabriela. Hello. Hello, Rosa. Hello. Do you have problem with uh, your internet, Rosa? Me? Yes. yes. <laughs> uh -huh. I, I hate it. I hate this. I hate that. Okay. <laughs> Start Nelson, Nelson and Gabriela. Okay. okay. I start. Okay. That Poro is really cool. Where is that? That's a beach near my house in Punta Cana in the, the Dominican Republic. This looks so relaxing. I hear the area is really beautiful. Yeah, it is. The water is great and there are some fantastic fish. The water is really clear too. It is expensive there. Well, it's not cheap, but prices uh, for tourists can be pretty re reasonable. Mm. And how far is from Santo Domingo? Uh, it's not too far from the capital, about 200 kilometers, a little over uh, 120 miles. It's some um, is very interesting. I sure plan a trip there at some time. Good, change. Okay. Okay, Adriana. I'm wrong. Okay. Okay. That that photo is really cool. Where's that? That's a beach near my house in Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. It looks so relaxing. I've I've heard the area is really beautiful. Yeah, it is. The water is great, and there are, are some fantastic beaches. The weather, the water is really clear too. This is 
Is it is it expensive there? Well, it's not it's not cheap, but prices for tourists can be pretty reasonable. 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 Uh, reasonable. No, reasonable. Reasonable. Yes. <laughs> Reasonable. Yeah, reasonable. <laughs> like a <bien. laughs> Near my house in Punta Cana, in Dominican Republic. It looks so relaxing. I heard the area is really beautiful. Yeah, it is the world is great, and there are some fantastic fish. That where it is really good too. It is expensive there. Well, it is not cheap, but price for tourists can be pretty and reasonable. Mm. Reasonable. Okay. Mm. And how far is from Santo Domingo? It's not too far from the capital, about two thousand kilometers. A little over and one dozen, one hundred, <laughs> one hundred twenty meters. It sounds very interesting. I shall plan a trip there sometime. Okay. okay. And Sandra and me? Okay. Uh, I can start. That for is really cool. What is that? Does this near my house in Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic? It looks so relaxing. Even here, the area is really beautiful. Yeah, it is. The weather is great. And there are some fantastic beach. The water is really clear, too. It is expensive there. Well, it's not cheap, but price for tourists can be pretty reasonable. Mm. And who far is from Santo Domingo? It's not too far from the capital, about uh, 2,000 kilometers, a little over, uh, one to zero meters. It is so very interesting. I shall plan a trip there sometime. Continue, Sandra, Susana. And how far is it from Santo Domingo? It's not too far from the capital, about 2,000 kilometers, a little over 120 miles. It sounds very interesting. I should plan a trip there sometime. Okay. Next one. <laughs> Again. Hola, Patricia. And me, me Ron? Yes. Okay. That photo is really cool. Where is where is that? Um I will I will the third, the second part. That's a bit near my house in Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. It looks so relaxing. I hear the area is really beautiful. Yeah, it is. Uh, the weather is great and there are some fantastic uh, beaches. The water, it's, the water, it's really clear too. Is it expensive there? Mm, well, it's not cheap, but prices for tourists can be pretty reasonable. Mm, I know far it is from Santo Domingo. It's not too far from the capital, um, about 200 kilometers and uh, a little over 120 miles. It sounds very interesting. I should plan a trip there sometime. <laughs> Okay, may I start? 
Yes, you can start. The floor is really cool. What is that? Okay. Okay, so just for the record, I'm just gonna record this. Hopefully it shows the way I see it. So difficult words on this, this conversation on this role play, photo, photo. Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic, relaxing, relaxing, relaxing. I've heard, I've heard, I've heard the area, area, beautiful, beautiful weather, weather, great. Great. The weather is great. Beaches, beaches. Okay, with this one, Americans usually say water, the water, the water, the water. Don't say water, please. Don't say water, water. Expensive. Now, is it? Is it expensive? Is it is it is it expensive there? Is it expensive there? Tourist, tourist, tourist. Reasonable, reasonable. But prices for tourists can be pretty reasonable. And how far is it from Santo Domingo? How far is it from Santo Domingo? Mm -hmm. Capital, capital, kilometers, kilometers, kilometers. A little over 120 miles, miles. It sounds very interesting. And that's it. Okay, so just watch the video again. Repeat, repeat, repeat. The key for pronunciation is just repetition. That's all. The more you repeat, your brain will record the right pronunciation. Okay, so let's jump into the topic, tonight's topic, which is, what's the topic for tonight? I'm sorry, teacher. When you started the class, I didn't pay attention. What's the topic for tonight? It's on your WhatsApp. It's the first message. It describes the benefits, cultural uh -huh. diversity, that they bring in the, to? in the company. To companies. Very good. Describe the benefits cultural diversity brings to companies. So again, we already talked about cultural diversity in El Salvador. <laughs> yeah, especially between San Miguel and El San Salvador. Um, I guess there shouldn't have to be any differences. You know, we are all Salvadorians, but that's okay. That's okay. So cultural differences. Let's understand this concept better. Let's watch a video together. It's just two minutes. It's an ad from Apple. I chosen this video for the class because it clearly specifies you know what what's going on with this with cultural diversity so it's on your youtube i mean on your whatsapp i'm sending it to here on the chat so let's go three minutes try to take notes please take notes that's very important
Let me know if you're ready to share your opinions. Not yet. Not yet, teacher. Okay. Interesting video teacher. What do you think? It's good. <laughs> yeah, but what is it about? <laughs> no, no. Uh, I, I, I like the, um, the difference when he talked about open a door and when open your mind. And I could remember when I started in my company, I, I remember that the Uruguay American people told us um, the mind, the mind, the mind. The mind, mm -hmm. it is like a parachute. Always they start to work when they are, they are open. And that's true. <laughs> that is true. Yes. When you need in the most, when you need the, when you need the most, your brain, you know, it starts working. It starts working. It's true. Okay. True. True. Someone else. It was a beautiful video for me. I really like when when say the truth is the all thing it stops different. I really like that because you're you because they recognize we are different. All are different. And it's cool be different. We're all different. That's true. Every world. What is something, it? Every brain is a world. Uh -huh. Something that I really interesting in, is when she said that humanity, it's a plural, not singular. The best way the world works is everybody in, nobody out. Okay, so now that you got the idea, let's watch a second video which talks about our main goal today. So why is it important? But let me make you the question first. Why is it important to have cultural diversity? Now, be careful. We are not talking about gender, gender diversity. That's a new topic. 
Uh, no, cultural diversity means different ways of thinking, you know, the clear example I gave you last night about this person from Iraq, you know, praying three times a day and it's a must, it is a must to do the, 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 the prayers three times a day. Why is it important to have people from different cultures? I think that you can learn some, some things about each. If you want, you keep. And if you don't like it, you can so. learn something different. Nice. Yeah. You can learn something different, true. But think as a, as a company owner. Mm -hmm. What good will there be if you have people from different nationalities, different uh, religions, different political thoughts? In marketing, you have many options to clients. You can go other people. Hmm. Interesting. Marketing, image, your image as a company. Okay. Yeah, like the, like the publicity in United Colors of Benetton. There, there <laughs> well, was a lot of, there was a lot of people, uh, different races. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Don't, you don't remember that commercial? No, United Colors of Benetton. I know the brand. Yeah. Mm -hmm, I know yeah. the brand, there but was not a, the there, there commercial. was a commercial about different race, race, races. Yeah, races. Races, uh -huh. yeah. Okay, what happened with that? It's a trend. It's a trend, the diversity, inclusion. Oh, be careful. Diversity is different than inclusion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's right, that's right. I mean, if we were in the 50s in the United States, Susana, if we were in the 50s in the United States, then yes, it will be inclusion for black people. You see? Nowadays, inclusion is more for uh, people with disabilities. Inclusion now at the workplace is a whole topic. You need to have ramps for the wheelchairs. You need to have handrails for all elderly because now inclusion, as we saw in the previous module, is to hire people of up to 60 years old, you know, just hire them. That's inclusion. But cultural diversity is, main, is mainly about um, race. It's about cultures in the world, about beliefs. Okay, so why is it important? Let's see a, an, another video to talk about this topic and understand it a little bit better. And now please take notes. Here are five reasons why workforce diversity is good for your work, for your workplace. Please take notes. This is very important. Let's go.
Okay. Let me know whenever you're ready, okay? I'm finished. Good, Susana, thank you. Okay, I think we're we're ready, right? So thinking about the video, if you, you want, you can go back on the video as well. Um, but going back, what is diversity? What what does diversity involve? If you notice at the beginning of the video, it describes diversity in six different um subtopics, let's say that it's that are involved on diversity. What is it? Uh, she was mentioning um, it was tradition, culture, uh, background and experiences, uh, gender, race, and society. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. society, <laughs> culture, good, good pronunciation. Thank you, Kenya. So yeah, society, culture, gender, tradition, race, background, experiences. These and many more things are involved on diversity. Now, among each one of those, culture for us is very remarkable, the way we speak, as we mentioned, right? So that, that's very remarked. I never, I never forget, give me one second, please. Sorry. Okay, so uh, I, I will never forget. I, I used to have a student on advanced, not on this on these courses, but in another academy. She was this close to get a job, you know, a beautiful, an amazing job at an airline. And, and she was about to apply, but first she wanted to try in call centers, but call centers didn't want her because she knew English. She could communicate just talking like me, but there was one, well, two things, two things. One thing was her appearance. She used to wear uh, trenzas, you know, 
ponytails and trenzas, right? All the time, but from here, okay? And at the end, she used to put a chonga, you know, at the top of each trenza. And she was brown. Hmm. So she was very from a taco, let's say, like that. Okay, which is, it's okay. But the problem was that she used to speak in English with La Jota. Just like that, you know. So it was really queer, really weird the way, I don't know, I cannot do it. But yeah, her accent was a Salvadorian accent. So you know what she did, what we did to correct that problem? You won't believe this, but at a very advanced level, she started singing like that. So she started singing and singing, and eventually, you know, she got the job at the airline. So, so culture, your accent, the way you look is in you. It goes in you and nobody can, it's part of your identity as, as Salvadorian, let's say in this example. Okay, so, okay. What is number one reason to have diversity? What's the number one reason to have diversity at the workplace? It's like, it's like a strategy to be better and a productive growth. Hmm. Yeah, I, I hear that. Yeah, totally, but why? Combining different cultures and experiences broadens understanding for consumers. Also giving giving birth new ideas. Given new ideas, yeah. good, okay. So combining different cultures and experiences, okay. It broadens the understanding of the different consumers. Do you think companies have a problem identifying their kind of consumers nowadays? For example, uh, uh, I don't know, Coca-Cola. Do you think Coca-Cola is still studying the market, the consumers? Yes, teacher, because the market changes. 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 Always changes. It always <laughs> changes. Now, who are the market? It's us, the consumers, right? So what do they have to study? For example, teacher, today I, I had a conversation with a, a specific client. And she, she say um, that now uh, the customer prefers the, the machine, the computer with a, a specific, a specific characteristic related to the clown, not necessarily the hardware. Oh, not necessarily the hardware, but the no. cloud. The cloud, the, 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 cloud the capacity, the, the access. The storage now, capacity. Yes, and it is, it's true, teacher, because the now, for for example, we need to to, to good um, tools for, mm -hmm. for learning, yes? Mm -hmm. And it's, it's different uh, if I compare with the 20 years ago, mm. it's very diff uh, different. The how fast, bit. how fast, right? In 20 years, everything has changed so much. Yeah, so yes, having different cultures. Hey, um, do you think- It's important to know the diversity. Do you think- do you think that we could sell tortillas in Qatar, for example? Chips in Qatar? No, tortillas, tortillas. Could we tortillas sell tor our tortillas? Yes, could we sell tortillas in Qatar? Maybe a specific segment of Salvadorian teacher. You couldn't. 
We couldn't. You, you couldn't. <laughs> because they eat Arabic bread. I don't know how to say this. Um, so, 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 so. I forgot the name for it. In, 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 in Qatar, there is, um, is there not a community of the Salvadorians? Yes, there are there are some Salvadorians in Qatar. No, but my point is, the way they eat, they they make this bread tortillas, okay? They and they're really big, and they inflate them by putting them on on, on the on the stove for a little bit. They the tortilla inflates, and they fulfill it with food, and then they eat. So, corn tortillas are. It they wouldn't be welcomed, they wouldn't be welcomed, or they couldn't compete with their culture. You see, because they don't grow corn, they don't grow corn. So for them, it will be mm, I don't know. That's weird, right? Could be. So that's an example. How do we know this? How do we know this? Diversity, cultural diversity. I can ask to a classmate. I mean, to a coworker. Or the boss can call. Imagine having someone for, from from Dubai, someone from Paris, someone from Mexico, a Salvadorian, I don't know, someone from England, and show them a new product and go like, "Hey, do you think this will be a hit in your country?" Right. Okay. An example. Mm -hmm. In the first part, uh, to say gender. What does that mean, gender? Gender, gender or gender? No, gender. Yeah, they said gender. Gender, uh, female, male, etc. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I don't remember. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry. Okay, number two. What is the second reason why workforce diversity is good for your workplace? Workforce diversity, having uh, co workers from different cultures. Accept time to Accept. all differences. Uh, uh -huh. Acceptance, acceptance, all the differences. To all differences makes? Makes feel, make feel, or make. Um, makes uh, them feel more trusted. Makes them, and so employees feel. More trusted? Okay. When they accept different cultures. Can you explain a little bit, Will? What did you understand? I, I guess, teacher, that when when we accept another culture, maybe could be it is it is going to be easy work together and then and try to do different process and different uh, kind of uh, I don't know mm -hmm. because we we have um, we don't have any idea what what they can what they do in their country for example if we try to do for example in El Salvador robot could be in Japan, for example, they are so. Mm, that's a stereotype. Another... That's a stereotype. No, but <laughs> because um, I could see in the, uh, in a program, but um, talking about their culture when when they are a child. When they're children. They, are, they when they are children. They start to 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 try to to practice with them. Uh, hey, what we saw yesterday, they start trying to. They, they start. Trying, they start yeah. trying to. Okay, um, for example, study mechatronics. Like me mechatronic, but now in El Salvador, for example, I have a coworker that he is a he is a mechatronic engineer. Yes, mechatronic engineer, but, but they know know so much. But <laughs> I don't know. But they start to work in a um, robotizar. Yeah. Una yeah, I got you. Yes. 
yes, yes, a new gadget in the company, but it, it looked so nice, but ah, they, they had four or five years trying to, to, que funcione. to make it work. To make, to make it work, work. Oh, okay. well let me give you a clear example um of the, this part as salvadorian said i don't know why but i grew up as a kid i grew up noticing i like to see people you know how they behave in some scenarios so i noticed when i was a kid well not a kid maybe 14 years old i used to work as a waiter, as a waiter in my vacations, I used to come to San Salvador from Santana to work as a waiter, part-time jobs, you know. And I used to notice one thing. If a Salvadorian sees an American, a gringo or a gringa, they go like, oh my God, mira, a ver está diciendo, mira. Oy, qué bonito hablan, <laughs> And then you go like, wow, right? I mean, they are humans. And I understood this when I, when I was a kid, I didn't like that, you know? I, I was like, I mean, they're just humans. They speak another language, fine. They're white, blue eyes. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. But... Yes, teacher, uh, but... um, um, excuse me, uh, I'm so sorry. When when I when I was finishing my my, in my my university, I remember that in the university I start to give some courses in Mandarin, but mm. the um, in this moment, um, it 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 was uh, so uh, I, I I don't know. We don't need it, right? It's like what yes, what for? Because. No, me medio oía yo y no le entendía ni papa. But it, it, it was, eh, era requisito. It was a requirement. Uh -huh. it, it was a requirement. To ha graduate. Have, have a 10, uh, 20 English level. You can receive these classes because they only, talk, uh, they only speak uh, English and Mandarin. Mandarin. Yes. And wow. Yes. But um, you you are true when you say they are human. But the difference, I I, I think it is um, our culture. Now it is so different, uh, different. But when I go when I was a child, I started studying English. I remember in seventh grade. Seventh grade, uh huh. Yes. But now my my children start to learn English. When that the first grade. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they had that I, blessing. And other languages, that. other yeah. languages as well. Yeah. Good, good. So that's the point. I mean, as an employee, you feel better when there is someone from another nationality. And for example, can you imagine that they promote you? They make you the boss, and the American is your employee, and they're like, wow, right. So that makes you feel more trusted, more confident in your job number three i'll move on really quick number three i a diverse range of employees will be attractive to work in your environment so this is a common trend as well what do you prefer clearly a place full of salvadorians or do you prefer a company where there is everything there are french people africans i mean people from all around the world would you like to work there yeah it's better yes yes well, not why fun. not yes. why not right it may be a bigger company maybe because that's the whole point you know having someone people from other countries it means that the company is really good it's big okay number four encourages now having cultural diversity encourages individual contribution and responsibility encourage have you ever felt in encourage to do something in your job it's like man i want my company to grow i i i really want to to contribute to the company or do you just show up to work right 
hardly working or no working hard or hardly working did you know that saying ya se puede en ese dicho okay i'm gonna write it for you because that that's funny okay hardly work working hard or hardly working trabajando duro o apenas trabajando sometimes about it. Sometimes about hardly working. Yeah. Working hard or hardly working. Be careful with that. A duras penas trabajando o trabajando duro. Hmm. Your boss? Your boss could ask you that. Okay. So having and then competition. This this is referring to competition. When you have people from other countries, you feel like, ah. I live on la promotion. He's going to be promoted. I'm not going to be promoted. Look at me. I mean, I'm brown. I have cantinflas mustache. I'm fat. I mean, that guy is white, blue eyes. My God, blonde. Eh. <laughs> and suddenly. It is discrimination, teacher. It is discrimination. It's true. It is true. But again, this is cultural diversity. So what the boss should do is think more on the capabilities of people and not the way they look. Y nunca me canso de repetir esto, a excepción de las empresas de publicidad. Okay, so that's the way it is. I remember a joke. Me acuerdo de un chiste super rápido. ¿Cómo saber si alguien es feo? Decían, ah, pues vas al concierto y te vas a dar cuenta los de la primera fila Bien guapetones. Segunda fila, un poquito mejor. Y ahí vas hacia arriba. Ya cuando llegas arriba, uy, ya ni quiere ver. So it's a, a conception, you know. <laughs> it's like, and that's, that's uh, discrimination regarding money too. Porque el que tiene más paga los asientos de delante, ¿sí o no? That's society discrimination, yeah. And the last one, okay. The last... Uh, point the last reason why uh, workforce diversity is good for your workplace you fill gaps in your business filling gaps uh, cultural gaps maybe stereotypes create gaps and tomorrow we're going to continue talking about these five reasons you know so you can do an exposition you're going to make um, a role play where you are going to attack problem so start thinking Bien, se nos acabó el tiempo necesito que piensen para mañana qué problema de diversidad de, de cultura cultural podría causar en el trabajo o sea lo opuesto a lo que hemos visto ahora todo ha sido muy positivo qué cosa negativa puede causar tener diversidad cultural en el trabajo ya decía por ahí en la cena, discriminación right so pensé en un escenario para mañana imagínate alguien que hasta un altar quiere poner en el rincón de su oficina, ¿verdad? Un Buda ahí sentado, digo, en El Salvador. Mm, ok, so develop this scenario so we can use it tomorrow. I'm staying with Adita tonight just for 10 minutes, ok? Hola, Patricia. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> We're staying 10 minutes too. Ok. So, Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Thank you. Ana Selmi Cheves. Present, teacher. Thank you. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Thank you. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Thank you. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Kenia Michelle Lara Sayas. Present teacher. Thank you. Good night. Nelson Edgardo Sanchez Ramirez. Present teacher. Thank you. Good night. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramirez. Present teacher. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you guys. I'll see you tomorrow.
See you tomorrow. Good night. Okay, good night. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, Ada, Patricia, how are you tonight? <laughs> Your microphone is off. <laughs> uh, the, 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 at Topic? night? At night time, I understand more, mm -hmm. but I know um for uh, um talk English, but I understand. You're doing it perfect right now. So, did you like the class? Yes, teacher. Yes, the yes. topic, the topic, okay. Yes. Um, I like it more interactive. Yeah. It's, it, it, I, I like, for me, it's very, it's very um, important. Easy. Easy. Easy and, and important. Yes, for you to practice, that is correct. Yes. Okay, um, let's talk about you. Um, what is your favorite place to visit when you want to my, relax? My favorite place is um, all the, all the reference, referen mm, naturaleza. Not nature, so. nature. Nature, yes. And beach and the mountains. Bo bo uh, mountains. Mon Volcanoes. Mountains. <laughs> yes. yes. Um, but but relax is at the beach. The beach. Yes. Okay. Do you like seafood? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <That's laughs> I a... like the pupusas. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Seafood pupusas, maybe. Okay. Good. That's awesome. So, and when was the last time you went to the beach? Went. Went. Uh, went. The last time you went to the beach. Go, went. Mm -hmm. I don't. Uh huh. To the beach. When was? Uh, when was the last time mm -hmm. you went to the beach? Así es. ¿Cuánto tiempo? Eh, ¿Hace cuánto fui a la playa? Ah. You got it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. eh, um. um I uh, far far time after long long long, long, time. long time ago. Yes, long long. And I can time. still remember. Um, you have to listen to music. Long long time ago. <laughs> okay. Um, very um, much work. Mucho too much. Work? I have too much work. Mm. I have too much work. Okay. Yeah. When are you planning to go to the beach? Yes, este, yes. Um, my family, um, it's a, a plan. Planning. Planning, and uh, go to the beach and the and the next Sunday. Next Sunday. Yes. Oh my God! Are you going? Are you going? Will you will you go? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. That's good. Very good. Okay. Do you have pets? Yes. Teacher. Yes. Do you have pets? 
what mm -hmm. what what kind of pets do you have um i have a one dog a dog a dog and a three cats and, and I two and turtles. wait wait i have a dog, a dog three, three three cats three cats and, and a to two, turtle and turtles two turtles two, two turtles two turtles yes okay mm -hmm. What's your dog's name? And my uh, her her name? Oh, her the name. Dog? Mm -hmm. It's uh, Mifa. 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 Mifa Chuleta. Mifa <laughs> Chuleta. Oh my God, Mifa. Why? Uh, Mifa. Mifa is a name, and the uh, the name is a uh, a place. A place. Uh, well, uh, video games uh -huh. for video games uh -huh. the 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 legend of Zelda oh really the prince the prince the prince the prince Mifa, Mifa. Mm, I didn't know that yes. I never liked Zelda I don't know why I don't it's know why it's very good it's, you it's like super. Zelda yes really okay uh, I I I like to play I like play video juegos video games video games still video games. really um, but, what? but uh -huh. uh, for the newbies for the newbies uh-huh uh -huh. they they are they are um no um me come I me tocó jugar con ellos videojuegos y aprender. I had to play with them. I had to play with them. Uh -huh. With your yes. babies? With your grandsons mm -hmm. or your sons? No, my nephews. Nephews. Oh, your nephews. 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 With nephews. your nephews. Okay. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and do you uh, play? I'm... What What do you use? A cell phone or Nintendo? Nintendo, Super Nintendo, um, and yeah. in this moment, it's a... A we? We, we. A we. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's awesome. That's really good. Wow. So you like it? Yes. Okay. That's and really the, good. The, uh -huh. mm -hmm. No, in the cut is uh, my... Uh, sobrina, Nico, new face. Nephew. Mm -hmm. Nephew. 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 Siempre. Nephew. Este. Um, cheese. Cheese. Rescue. Rescue. Uh, rescue. Rescue. The three cats. Oh. Mm -hmm. So nice. And, uh, <laughs> de hecho, teach. De hecho. In fact. In fact. Es the, the dog. Uh huh. Mipa is rescued. He's rescued too. Oh, yes. and what about um, the the turtles? And uh, no, it's give. It was a gift. Um, it's a gift. Oh, well, yes. they were a gift. They were a gift. Yes, okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, my life is mo is very um very. Um, Exciting. Exciting. The, there's cultural diversity in my house. <laughs> animal diversity. <laughs> bueno, que bueno. Um, de verdad. Crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> Eso está bien. Está súper bien. Mi hermano, mi hermano trabaja manejando todo el día. Y okay. hace poco fui donde, donde su suegra, a Soya, son sonate, a son sonate. Y no, perdón, a Huachapán, hasta Huachapán fuimos a visitar por primera vez ahí a los suegros de mi hermano. Y me salen con que mi hermano siempre le lleva, quizás una vez cada tres meses lleva una tortuga. Porque como anda de noche, <ríe> se las encuentra caminando en la calle, las agarra y se las lleva para ahí. Entonces tienen como 10 tortugas y más los huevitos que tienen ahí. Eh, yo llegué a tener, bueno, llegamos a tener seis tortugas, cinco. Eh, cinco porque eran las tortugas ninjas habían dicho mis sobrinos eran <risa> las cuatro tortugas y una de ellas que es la más tremenda la más tremenda 
era, uh -huh. era Splinter, decían ellos, porque <risa> qué tortuga ya no se está quieta, pero por <risa> cuestión de espacio tuvimos que regalar, bueno, tuve que regalar cuatro, no, tres, wow. tres y, y me han quedado dos, dos, oh. tres, más los tres gatitos, más, más la perrita es, es de locos esta casa. <risa> No, pero dan alegría, la verdad. Así es. Bueno, ha sido un verdadero placer. La felicito. Creo que hasta ahora hemos logrado que hable. ¡Wow! Súper bien, Ada. Felicidades. Gracias. Siga, sí. siga así hoy. ¿eh? Good night. Bueno, good que descanse. Night, good night. Y ha sido un gran placer. Oye, Same to you. Gracias, teacher. Buenas noches. Good night. Bye bye.